Hey guys, I'm Rick Fresco and today I'm about to show you this Ableton Live template that I made for the VCI 400 Ian Golden Edition and I'm gonna walk you through all the different sections and make some quick examples so let's get to it. Now the first thing you want to do after you downloaded and installed the live pack from DJ Tech Tools, you want to open up your project into Ableton Live and go to Preferences. Now under the Audio tab, you want to select your Vestec VCI 400 here from the drop-down menu as your audio output device. Under Channel Configuration, uh, you want to make sure to set your output configuration as 1-2 stereo and 3-4 stereo. Now under the MIDI Sync tab, you want to set to on track and remote for both your input and output ports. Under the Record Warp Launch tab here, you want to set to off both exclusive ARM and solo. You want to also set to off Select on Launch and Select Next Scene on Launch. And you want to set to on Start Recording on Scene Launch. And now you're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the project here. Now there's four decks up here, Deck A, Deck B, Deck C and Deck D are the tracks in which you want to drag all of your songs from the browser and you want to start to place them uh, from these sign tracks down here and below because all this section up here uh, contains clips and MIDI mappings that you never want to touch or modify to avoid any misfunctionality of the mapping uh, of the communication between the template and your VCI 400. Now let's take a look at the various sections into the controller. Now for the purpose of this template I've divided the surface of the VCI 400 into different sections. The mixer section here which has controls for all of your four decks, deck A, deck B, deck C and deck D. The global section here in the middle, the transport sections, the performance sections here and the send effects sections. Now the first thing you always want to do before start playing with this template is to uh, press down the start reset encoder here. This will initialize all the quantization based functionalities of the template. Now you'll notice once you press this down this button here will start to blink uh, according to the bit count showing your visual reference of the metronome. Now let's take a look at the mixer section. Let's say I have a track playing on deck B. You have your volume control here, you have your crossfader, here you have your uh, cue monitor button to pre-listen the track into your headphones. These two buttons here are uh, Sound Effects 1 and Sound Effects 2, which will activate a special reverb and a dub delay. This is the filter knob, which has no functionality unless you select the appropriate filter you want to control from the transport section. You're gonna see how later on. These two buttons here are the record and play uh, and the stop button for go live, which is a special feature from the performance section here. We're gonna see that later too. These three knobs here are your EQ controls low frequency control, mid frequencies, high frequencies, pretty straightforward. Here is your trim control to lower down or boost up the gain of your, uh, of your track from minus 12 to plus 12 dB. Now the global section. This knob here uh, controls the, the global BPM of your set from uh, 90 BPM all the way up to 180 BPM. This button here will enable an audible click into your headphones. These four buttons here are the clip status buttons for deck A, deck B, deck C and deck D. Uh, this means that, for example, now I have a track playing in deck B, if I, play, uh, if I press the dedicated button, deck B, this will show me uh, on the screen the waveform of the clip I have uh, playing on that deck. This 
little fader here. We'll turn on and off the overdub function. And this is the start uh, reset encoder uh, that will initialize all our quantization based functionalities. But if I turn this knob, this will allow me to scroll up and down the set and to select uh, the clip I want to play. Now let's take a look at the transport sections. The transport section is where you have play and stop functions for all the four decks along with special controls dedicated to various functions of the template. The two ember buttons here are stop and play buttons related to the deck and focus which you can choose using the deck select switches located on both sides of the controller. For example now these are stop and play buttons for deck B and now they became stop and play buttons for deck D. The other four buttons in each row are assigned to three different kind of functions depending on the selected bank. You can switch between the three available banks using uh, the bank switches located on the front panel of the controller. For example, now selecting the first bank will turn the four advanced buttons red uh, and will let you to use them to arm up to four go live tracks. We're going to see go live later on. Selecting the second bank will turn the advanced button green and will let you to use them to activate up to four different filters that you can modulate using the corresponding filter knob from the mixer section. Filter 1 is a... Uh, let's play a track. Filter 1 is a tractor style low pass high pass filter. Filter 2 is a distorted low pass high pass. Filter 3 is a forming filter. In this case, the knob modulates between the different poles. Filter 4 is an LFO filter. The knob now modulates the LFO's rate. Selecting the third bank, we turn the Abbasid buttons amber and we'll let you use them to activate up to four different special effects that you can modulate using the related jog wheel. These are called the jog effects. Jog effects 1 is called Builder 1 and it's a special effect rock that lets you create epic uh, repeated builds. Uh, for, uh, when any of the four effects is activated, touching the jog wheel will turn the effect on and then a clockwise rotation will modulate the effect Once you lift your hand up from the jug wheel, the effect will reset to its initial value. Jug effects 2 is called Builder 2. It's a special effect rack that lets you create cool eroded deals. Jug effects 3 is called F2G and it basically replicates the well-known fit to gray Ableton native effect. Jack Effects 4 is called Vox Crush and it's a special effects rack that emulates the vocal crust effect heard in many electro dubstep productions. Now let's take a look at the performance section. The performance section is where you can really start to add some creativity to your set. This section consists of four subsections with four completely different functionalities that you can select using these four small buttons here. The four special features are Samplizer, Gratify, Go Live and Side Effects. Now let's take a look at each one of those, each one of those individually. The Samplizer works uh, like a common sampler, meaning that, you, that, that it lets you to record uh, a sample of incoming audio 
but it also lets you to rearrange in real time slices of the sample. And this feature is incredibly useful to compensate for Ableton's lack of live looping functionalities uh, and it's also incredibly funny to play with when it, when it comes to live remixing. Let's see how it works. By pressing this encoder here, Semplizer will start to record a two bars loop of whatever audio is coming out of the corresponding deck. For example, now that we are on deck B, uh, let's play a track. By pressing this encoder, Semplizer will record a two bars loop of this track from deck B. And this button here, that represents uh, deck B, is gonna blink to give you visual feedback of what you're recording. Uh, th these buttons here represent the recording status of the various deck. This for deck B, deck A, and deck C. Let's record a loop. Now it's recording, now it's done. Once the loop is recorded, uh, it'll be like stored in memory until you record again over it or you manually press the Ableton Live main stop button. If you want to hear what you recorded, you gotta activate it by pressing this little button here. And what you're hearing is the loop you recorded one, uh, one while the main track is uh, gonna continue to play underneath. Once the loop is playing, it behaves like any audio track playing from the actual main deck. Uh, that means that it's affected by uh, filters or any effect or EQs, etc. If you want to rearrange the slices of the sample, you gotta use the, uh, these eight pads here. That represents the eight quarters of the two bars loop. For example, if I press the first pad, it's gonna loop just the first quarter. This is the second quarter, third quarter, and so on and so forth. All these pads are set to respond to one quarter quantization to let you easily play them and remix the track. If you want to clear what's going on here, you gotta pre press uh, this clear encoder here, which will set the uh, entire loop to play again from its first quarter. You can also deactivate the loop and activate it whenever you want. Now the gratify. The Gratify is inspired by the DJ Tech Tools Eastern Gratification Mapping for the MIDI Fighter and it's basically just a grid of 8 different effects that can be uh, triggered uh, by pressing the corresponding pads. Uh, let's play again our track. You have a gator here. Radio effect. LFO filter, big crusher, here you have a reverb and a delay. Um, these two guys uh, behave like they were sound effects. That means that when once you deactivate the effect you can still hear the tail. Here you have a flanger and a freeze reverb. Now the cool thing is that these pads uh, don't toggle one another. That means that you can uh, create different combinations of effects and uh, interesting soundscapes. Now we move to Go Live. Go Live will turn the performance section into a live finger drumming machine. By tapping the 8 Go Live pads here, you will play the first 8 drum rack pads of any armed uh, Go Live track related to the deck and focus. That means that you'll have uh, 16 drum racks in total, 4 on each deck, that you can fill up with your own sounds and play. 
uh, from the corresponding go live in the performance sections. For example, I loaded some uh, drum sounds uh, from one of Madzak's sound packs uh, into the first go live track related to deck D. So I go to deck D, I go to my arm go live buttons here in the transport section and arm the first go live track. Now going to go live I can play my drum sounds. Now by using these two uh, buttons here, as I mentioned before, you can record what you're playing uh, here in To Go Live along with playing other tracks in the other decks. Uh, let's, let's make an example. I'll turn on my uh, metronome in the headphones. Now by pressing this button once, you will start to record and by pressing the second time it'll stop record and start playing what you recorded in loop. Now by pressing this button here you will stop the clip. You can then play it again by pressing the same record button. And by using the overdub function you can record, uh, you can keep on re uh, recording over and over the same loop. Now if you want to load up your own sounds into one of the drum racks, you, you have to first access the drum racks inside the Go Live tracks. Let's take a look at the project here. You have these four tracks here named GLC, GLA, GLB and GLD. These are all group tracks. Uh, each one of those contains four Go Live tracks for the related deck. For example, let's say I want to uh, load up my samples into the first Go Live track for Deck A. You can select it, and uh, it also have uh, it already have uh, an empty drum rack in it. Now you just open your browser, you select from your um, favorite library the eight sounds that you want, and you simply drag it to the first drum rack path here, C1. Then you just go to Deck A, you arm your first Go Live track, and here are your sounds. Now the last part of uh, the performance section is side effects. Side effects is a collection of four special effects that can be modulated using the, uh, the tempo fader located here on the side. In the top row you have four buttons uh, to select which one of the effects uh, you want to play. In the bottom row here you have four activate buttons that will blink to indicate which one of the, effect, uh, of the selected effect is on. Four effects are Beat Measure, Technifier, Water Drop, and Sidechain. Let's take a look at each one of those. Beat Measure is a simple beat measure. Technifier is funny to play with other tracks. It'll completely destroy your original audio.
Butter Drop, it's uh, well similar to the Technifier, but it's more. Uh, it adds some watery flavor to your track. And it's also funny with other tracks underneath. Sidechain, uh, well, it's, a, it's like a fake sidechain to the original track, meaning that it gives uh, to your track this pumping effect. This is incredibly, incredibly funny to uh, remix in, in real time your original track. Now the last section we're going to talk about is the send effect section. The send effect section consists of two separate sections, one located here on the left and one on the right of the VCI 400, offering modulation controls respectively for send effects 1 and send effects 2 that you can activate using these two buttons here from the mixer section. Let's play, let's play our track. Send effects 1 is a special reverb with some chorus fluctuations in it. Parameter 1 modulates the reverb's decay time. Parameter 2 modulates the chorus dry web. Parameter 3 bypasses the original audio content, letting only the affected audio to pass through. Now one thing that's worth noting is uh, that using this control, parameter 3, uh, without activating any send effect will silence original audio coming from any deck as if we were lowering down the master volume. Now send effects 2 is a special dub delay with auto filter modulations. Parameter 1 modulates the auto filter's frequency and resonance. Parameter 2 modulates the auto filter's envelope and LFO's rate. Parameter 3 is the same bypass as we've seen uh, for Sound Effects 1. Okay, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and my Ableton Live template. Uh, don't forget to read the super detailed PDF manual that you can find inside the download file here. Um, feel free to post comments and requests here on the DJ Tech Tools MIDI Maps webpage. And feel free to also modify the template and upload your own improvements. And have some fun with your VCI 400 Ian Golden Edition. See you next time.